Hey everybody, welcome to the cooking show for this week. Um, this week, Adina is mostly going to teach us how to make cheesecake. Um, despite popular opinion, uh, as per the Facebook comments last week, this is not just Adina's cooking show. I'm equally a part of it. So uh, to all you uh, haters on Facebook over there, give me a little credit. Um, <laughs> what we're um, going to do this week is a Shavuot special. So we're going to make ourselves some cheesecake. Uh, we decided to go the pretzel route because who doesn't like a little sweet and salty in the same thing? Um, so Adina is going to run point on this one, and then uh, we're going to even it out because next week I'm going to do something that Adina is not as equipped to make. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get started right now. All right, so I'm going to kind of hold the camera, and we'll switch between this angle and then... Okay, we're trying to see if people it's just okay we're flying solo on zoom right now all right so here's adina wait no, no one's on i don't want to start please come facebook live oh all right okay okay so um you're gonna start by pouring uh, by um crushing some like two cups of pretzels so two cups of crushed pretzels and then in that bowl, you're going to pour in a quarter cup of brown sugar um, and then three quarter cups of melted butter. Ours is a little bit hot, so I'm just going to use the oven it. Look at that mitt. Okay. Adina thinks she knows how to bake, but I'm of the opinion that she's still an apprentice. Um, so Adina, this is the cheesecake part of it, right? No, this is the crust. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, like me, who are unexperienced bakers, we're making the crust right now. And then you just want to mix it together until it kind of... All right, we're getting the angle set up, sorry. So then it should, like when you press on it, it should like mold together a little bit. And need be, you can use a little bit more butter. So don't do it. Baking. Sheet. Okay. So now you wanna. I usually use a, start with a little bit less because we don't want our crust to be too thick. So once you have that, you wanna spread it out evenly. And of course, wash your hands beforehand. Um. Then you'll press it down. And then what I like to do to keep it, make sure that it's firmly pressed down. I'll take a spatula spreader and just press, press down all along the edges. So while Dina's doing that, just to give you uh, a little bit more of a concrete way to gauge your success on this one, um, I just took a little bite of the crust. It should kind of taste like a caramel covered pretzel, but you don't really have to chew it. <laughs> so. firmly pressed down. You want to place it in your oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm just going to press it down a little bit more to be safe because you know why you're uh, When's it going to be my turn to cook? Honey. Um, okay. So um, I'm just going to go place this in the oven. All right, so now that that's in the oven, um, we're gonna start on the cheesecake part of this. So um, you wanna pour in um, 450 grams of cream cheese, um, and you yeah, want that's... it to be room temperature so that it's soft. All right, this is when I'm gonna step in because I want a little bit of credit here. So, oh, there it goes. Okay, well done. All right. So, Adina, what are we doing here? 
So we're just gonna. Hey, my turn. You can wait two seconds. Okay. So you're just gonna wanna start on a low speed with your um, mixer. Mm -hmm. I recommend an electric mixer because it makes it easier. Dean is all about ease. You just kind of want to start off slow and then gradually get faster. <coughs> and then a lot of it might get stuck like so. Then we go, ah, here, I can use this actually. And then you can just scrape it out. Like that. So do you want to take over? I do. Okay. I can't let the Facebook comments win. All right, let's just set up on a good angle. All right, hopefully everyone can see there. All right, just trying to get a good camera angle for all you guys. Wait, so I can do this. Okay. You'll add the ingredients in while I mix, right. so I can pour them. Mix. Oh, I'm supposed to start again. Yeah. Okay, so you want to be a pro and not do what I just did. Make sure your mixer's in the thing for all you men for ever repeating this recipe out there. Good boy. The two-handed job. Slow her down. You do want to get past the screen to get that one time. Take off. All right, so this begins to flop up. I hope you guys can see. You feel like you're spraying cream cheese everywhere. That's good. Make sure your kids are in their bathing suits for this activity. It's like a sprinkler. Um, I'm going to get this one. So once it's smooth and creamy, you want to add in powdered sugar. But if you don't have powdered sugar like we do, um, you can just use regular sugar. So one cup of sugar, I guess. Yeah, we call this el this element of our cooking the COVID compromise. When the yes. grocery store runs out of ingredients, we still cook. All right, so it's going to start flaking up and boiling. Um, yeah, and you kind of just want to like, do your best to make sure everything stays in the bowl. And then, um, need be if you need to get your spatula and scrape down the sides. Um, and then once it's smooth, um, you want to stir in. You want to stir in your vanilla extract. So you need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, which is what we're gonna do right now. That's good. I'm just getting the cream cheese off the thing. Yeah, you can stir that in. Okay. Well, you know, it's getting a little bit easier. I was very scared at the beginning. Um, that mixer thing in a little, in like a couple seconds. Um, so after that is mixed in, you want to add, um, wait, how much was it? How much sour cream? It says a third of a cup. A third of a cup of sour cream. Three, two. Oops, I spilled some. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to see the rank on that. All right, so. Because I need that mixer. Wait, just let them know. But I'm mixing some whipped cream. Madina's mixing some whipped cream. So for those of you who don't know, I'm not an experienced baker. Um, but even I know that generally you're supposed to use a double boiler for um, stovetop melting of chocolate. However, be that as it may, we have no glass bowls that are par in our house. So I'm going to throw in a bunch of semi-sweet dark chocolate chips right in here. Boom. Then, oh, they're not all out. There we go. Now we're going to throw in a little bit of whipping cream. It's a 33% Lucerne. Comes in Safeway bottles. That's the, the money right there. Throw that in. You can see it kind of looks like there's a cow that fell into my pot. 
Rest assured, it's still kosher. All right. And then... Yeah, I know, but I'm trying to keep things interesting. Um, okay, so this is what we have so far. Then we're going to turn our burner on. You want to be close to simmer on that guy. And then, yeah, do I put butter in? No butter. All right. Then you want to take your spatula, start stirring. So let's see if I can switch this camera to help you all see better. Okay. There's a lot of extra. So this is uh, Dina and I have uh, just mixing. So there's nothing interesting to see here. But Adina and I decided to make a sweet and salty inspired cheesecake. So we, we were ripping off the idea of the top of the seven. What do you think? We're, I was just talking to the people. We're ripping off the idea of a chocolate covered pretzel and we're trying to incorporate that into our cheesecake. Some other ideas we ran through. Um, were people can hear the microphone too. I can't, they go outward. Oh, good point. Never mind. Um, another idea you can do is you can put things into uh, you know, your put your favorite candy, so Reese's pieces, MMs, turtles, if you're not allergic to nuts, oh Henry bars, you can chop those up, throw them in, blend them in. And then mix those into your cheesecake filling. You can just melt chocolate in and mix it in with the cheesecake. Um, and then also, um, yeah, basically just let your kids go crazy, add in their favorite elements. Right now, I'm just going to, as toppings, the is correcting me. So it's looking kind of like a mix between chocolate milk and semi-sweet chocolate chips. We'll show you the final product. Back to Adina. Um, so once your whipped cream is whipped and it has stiff peaks, um, you want to um, <laughs> shut the cabinet. Um, you want to um, fold it into your um, mixer. So you don't want to mix it because, yeah. So you just want to fold it in nicely. Um, all right. <laughs> I'm just mixing it this way. All right. Um, so, to give you guys a little window into our life, we're very well behaved on camera. But um, generally, the way these work is we create a test batch. We'll show you a picture of that in a minute. It's um, not really pictures happening. Yeah, so that, that's a testament to how good this cheesecake is because basically, um, we tried to make one for presentation purposes and Shmuel basically. And that's just more with everybody. Mostly small. No. I really watched him sit down. Oh, I've never saw him eat it. And devour it. Okay. He's lucky he has a good metabolism. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> me and Dina constantly argued for the rest of the uh, process between her yelling at me for not doing the right thing or me yelling at her for not doing the right thing. We went through about three uh, tries of melting chocolate in the pot. Um, and other things like that. So we're bringing you the final perfected or mostly perfected recipe. All right, so once you're done folding in your whipped cream, it should look kind of just like a fluffy mixture. And it should make that sound when you slap it. <laughs> so really quickly, we'll show you the final product to give you a quick so teaser. I'm not showing the inside of the fridge. I'm opening up the fridge and grabbing the cheesecake. So you can see it looks pretty nice, except most of it's gone. So that's what your final product's gonna look like, but probably not like with a bunch of bite marks in it. Um, All right, so once you take your, um, hold on, hold on. your crust. Let me switch it on. It's, um, on Until you take your crust out of the oven, it should look something like this. Um, you wanna let it cool. 
for a couple of minutes because you don't want to cook the cream cheese that you're putting in. Um, All right, so my chocolate's pretty much done melting. So uh, we're gonna show you that at this point. We're gonna take out another bowl and we're gonna make some chocolate covered pretzels. Don't use that bowl. That's yeah, I know. Stuff. Can you lay out like, a, should, should we pour it over or what? how should we make these? We could do like, oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. This is how we work. Uh, we fight most of the time and sometimes we generate good ideas together. Where's my so, oh, are we drizzling? <laughs> Okay, good idea. Okay, we need a tray. Do we want to know we don't want to eat all? Okay, so you wanna, so we're gonna use a spoon. Um, and then, do you want to parchment paper so that we have lots of material? You wanna grab the parchment paper? I have to mix the chocolate. Okay, um, one second. I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleanup. All right, so a quick dairy joke to lighten things up for Shavuos. What's a cow's favorite davening, do you know? Moose. Moose off. Oops, I was close. Okay, so we're just gonna line our tray with some parchment paper to avoid a bigger cleanup. Pro tip. Cleanup. Okay, so then you want to put like a cooling rack on top if you have a rectangular one that will work fine. It can work also without a cooling rack, but this is just easier. So now we might want to add some more cream to it. So it come out very easy. Pretzels. Boom. Look at those. Okay, so just line out like or we'll just find out a lot. You want them flat like that because then it'll You want to put stuff. whipped cream in here. Don't take the broken ones. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, eat those the Those belong in my mouth. So you want, oh, I was like, you want to show them here? Okay. We're eating pretzels. So you don't, we don't need so many because it's just as like um, a nice decoration on top of your, okay, then stop eating. Um, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That works well. <laughs> so Adina is doing what looks like a scene from Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. So now that it's all sucked up, we can. I don't know how well this is gonna work. This literally. We're we're trying this for the first time. Ooh, it Ooh. worked. Yay. Joseph Marciano would be proud. So would Ricky Smith and Susie Siegel. Okay, I need and more chocolate. Grow. Go get I mean, it. Not, you might need to melt more. Mm, it's stuck. Okay. Which one was like half covered? I can do it that. I feel like you're very close to my face. Don't worry. I'm a professional. No, you're not. The videos I am. Uh, so Adina is failing miserably here. I'm I think not. if I were you, I'd take maybe, you know, a, a spoon and drizzle it through the top rather than constantly trying to. Like, well, I should just suck up more in the first place. Is that stove still on? Probably. Yeah, that was not smart. Ow! Okay. Yeah, because it's hardened. No. I think you probably need to eat it. There. No. Do you think you have enough yet? Ooh. <laughs> the delicious noises of cheesecake making. Make sure you have your sound up for this part. It's entertaining. Oddly satisfying. Oh my gosh. It worked so well. It does sound like indigestion in here. <laughs> That's not going to make people want to eat our food. <laughs> okay. I so guarantee I'm just gonna it tastes better. Out really quick so that it doesn't harden. Let's get some close up shots here. All right, so I'm gonna go and melt more chocolate. Adina is gonna. Use this rest of the cheesecake. Um, one second. I'm just gonna boil some water just to put it into the syringe so that the chocolate does not harden. But meanwhile, um, we're gonna stop it. Okay. Good thing we made extra. Meanwhile, we're gonna move back to the cheesecake part of this. And so, I'm melting more chocolate. You wanna, it might not be as cool as, eh, no, it's good. Okay, so you wanna pop your cheesecake mixture into this. Another handful. Container, okay. Um, and then you wanna spread it. I'm 
TikTok and Pepsi Pan because it did come out of the oven recently. Um, so you want to, oh, maple stone. Um, you want to spread your cheesecake evenly around the uh, pan. Are we boiling water for a reason? No, that's for my syringe, just to make sure that. You need to feed them the pro tip. I did. How do you clean the syringe? Hot water. Okay, so there's a little bit more in the bowl, so we're not going to waste. We're going to scoop it out and flop it off. Um, okay. So I'm just going to get um, my cake scooper thingy. Thing is so what am I doing this chocolate? Is, you know? is it melted? Totally. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so give me one second, because then I will do this part, because this part's my... I'm right. filling up my syringe though. No. Where are the big tubes? No, we don't want those. You don't want those. To fill that syringe? Yeah, but I need to clean it first. I'll clean it. Okay, fine. You can fill up the tubes, but I need to show you how to do it, and then you can do the rest. Okay? No, you did badly. Yeah, no, you. trust me. It'll look prettier. Seven, it looked prettier. I'm not joking. Me and Leo discussed this. We knew you did it wrong, but we didn't want to tell you we wanted to let you have your moment. Oh, you see what I'm dealing with here, guys? Ow! <laughs> he burnt himself, if anyone was wondering what just happened. Um, okay, so once cool. it's smoothed out, um, we are going to swirl some chocolate into it. Oops, I don't know if you can even see the pan anymore. But <laughs> they can see the pan. No, I just moved it and it was over here. Can they see it? Yes, no. Okay. Um, once it's smoothed out, you want to take your syringe. You need a small space. Um, I need your vacuum what? No, we're not swirling it like you did. Oh, we're crisscrossing it? Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it looks prettier, right? I'm sucking in the chocolate. Yeah. Okay, suck up the chocolate. Um, I'm just going to look for a toothpick really quickly. I don't even know if we have one. Maybe we should look before it does. Um, okay, I do not see any toothpicks, so maybe we'll break a pork. A plastic pork, though. but safely. Do not try this at home. We know we are at home. Yeah, but we're professionals. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> this is not happening. Okay, we're going through the top. Ah, I did it. Okay, so. If you do have toothpicks at home, that's great. But if not, you can break a plastic fork. Wait. Why is it going to feel so miserably? I'm what I'm doing. Oh, what you're doing. Oh. Take a video of this. Oh, yeah. I'll bring the camera over. Oh, say hello to Mabel. Um, David is not being successful. Okay, you need to turn off the stove. I needed it melted. It was okay. too firm to get into the syringe. So he's not doing a very good job and he's spilling everywhere. And burning myself in the process. And burning himself because he's not the brightest. Um, okay, um, one second, David. Then we can look at cheesecake some more. Um, Mabel! Mabel! Okay, well, there's Mabel. Um, um, so, one second, what, what was I doing? I need to grab it. Alrighty, so I got my syringe. Time to wipe it down, put the stopper in, get okay. squirting. Okay, so David passed me and then I'll um, put it on. Very warm. Oh, place those in the freezer while I show them what to do. What is the freezer? The chocolate. Can so you can do that while I finish wiping it down? Fine. We don't have room in the freezer, actually. It's fine. We're going to put it all in the freezer afterwards. Does it really matter? Okay, um, you might have to go for that a little bit. Okay. Oh. The tube is really hot, full of melted chocolate. I'm just getting it in. It is in. Yeah, I'm at no point. Mmm. Like unnecessary. So you want to squirt it into lines, 
like so. And then we'll do it again. And they'll get cleaner as you go. The top of the unit, you missed it. I did not miss it. We have to go across now, like a checkerboard. No. Oh, because we're swiping it. Yes. Okay. So, okay, um, should I'm I so add? I'll do one two. I do one two. No, no you got yes. a squirt. No, I get to do I one. I filled it up and no, burned myself. No, stop it! I broke the port. No. Nope. Stop it! I have another one. Sucks to be you. <laughs> like that? No, stop! You have to do it backwards now. Oh my gosh! Get out of here. Sorry, you suck. Like so. I think it needs a couple more. Well, you can't do more now. Because you made it all curly. Now it looks bad. You look bad. I think we need to swirl it. Fine. Wait, Leora's calling us. Leora? Okay, I don't think she's Okay, we're us. going on swirl time. Save mode. So little spirals. Should I add more chocolate? We should have probably added cream because the chocolate's hardening as we go. Okay, in should there. I just add more chocolate? No. Should I add cream to the syringe? And then no, you should add it back into the pot. Okay, I'll squirt it back in. Then we'll just have chocolate chunks in here. We may have messed this up slightly. But you learn as you go. Mmm. It tastes good though. Mm, it's so easy. Okay, turn the fire back off. I'm just so we're on operation and salvage the cheesecake. It's not salvage the cheesecake, it makes the cheesecake better. Okay, I stand corrected. So, we're gonna pour some of this cream. I just did. We poured the cream. Mix, mix. Where's the camera? There it is. Ooh. It's gonna liquefy the chocolate, keep it from melting, uh, from hardening as we get in. As you can see, put the cream in first next time because right here, the chocolate has hardened. So it's uh, hard to work with. If you can see, like this guy, he moves. he moves like a hard piece of chocolate. Alrighty. Ooh, it's it's nicer than yours. I'm a better chef. I think evil is the word you're looking for right now. Should I, no, I should not put it through the top. Got it. You might be able to scoop it up with the bottom. How do we save this, Adina? We are saving it. Is it going to work? We got to just spiral it in. Ooh. <laughs> it actually doesn't look bad right now. It just doesn't look good either, you know? It looks medium. Okay, I'm going to have to refill, but I don't want to burn myself. I think that's enough. Oh, ready? Oh, that did harden. That's so ugly. Okay, I'm just gonna squirt all around. That did not look pretty. Okay, swirl. Should I get you the fork? Yeah, that would probably be helpful. <laughs> Better idea. The needle from the syringe. I'm so much smart. Ew, don't eat that. I'm just licking it off. Ooh, that was so much smarter. Why didn't I think of that before? Okay, we may have over chocolated a little bit. No such thing. It's only on the top. So, you know, everybody wins here. Chocolate lovers, vanilla lovers, cheese lovers. Ooh, it kind of looks like a star now. A chocolatey star. And you just ruined the star. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to... Now that it looks like a chocolatey star. Adina over chocolated. No. Oh, well, we can just add some more filling on top. No, that's ugly. Mm. Okay. okay, so now that it looks like a little bit of a... We should dust it with the pretzel crust star. on top. No. Yeah. You put that on at the top. It gets soggy and yucky. We tried that last okay. time. We put it inside last time. So we're putting it in the freezer. What freezer are we using? Um, okay. So once that's done, we're going we're gonna, to um, show you an example of plating. You can choose to use or you don't have to. Okay, so we're taking what's left of our other cheesecake. It's not the plate. But I'll cut the slice. Okay, just cut it from the middle so that it looks nice. No, I'm just cutting this one. It doesn't need to look perfect. But okay, but make it at least the edge look good. It looks pretty. Okay, it's fine. Okay, so, let me get a nice plate. No, okay, yeah, you have a nice plate.
I'll get right to you. Okay. So you want to. Dun, 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 dun. Nice clean plate. Messed up the piece now. Oh boy, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, you wanna get some whipped cream, put it like that, and then boom. Cheesecake. Money shot. No, David, eat it. Why, David, eat it? No, I don't want it. All right, sounds good. All right. All right, so now David's gonna take that, and but we will post. A picture of the final result tomorrow morning. So, if you want to freeze it overnight. Cheesecake. Looks nice. Can I have my hands on your shirt? No. Got a fork. Let's get it with some of the pretzels so we get the front. Mabel, leave it. And then we take out pretzel. No. Which is not really like a finger food kind of deal, but I'm using it. I don't know if I thought it was a home burger or All right, so we will, I don't know if you heard, but we will post the final result of our newer cheesecake tomorrow morning or afternoon or whenever. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, good well, luck. That was the final result. Also, we'll post the recipe. So just to recap, tips and tricks. Um, don't over chocolate. Don't over chocolate. One big circle of chocolate will fail, as Adina did. Okay, can you stop? Um, what I would recommend, which is what we did last night, which turned out better than today, is if you can get your lines of chocolate straight, you can do that. I would almost recess it into your thing. So if your syringe is this, you just want to press down a little bit, drag it through the filling, then it blends nicely. Next thing you can do as well, and what we did last night, is we put between three and four kind of globs of chocolate in either quadrant of the cheesecake and then we swirled it in from there so it was a little bit more even um other than that you can completely cover your cheesecake with like a dusting of like pretzels or m&ms or, or whatever your candy extra crumbs. you could throw some strawberries on there or any you other kind hey maybe get out of there um or any other kind of thing like that so basically just you know have at it we'll send a final um presentation picture of our cheesecake we will and we, post it on facebook and next week, uh, just a little bit of a teaser, we're going to be um, going outside to the grill, weather permitting, and uh, teaching you guys how to get your live fire cooking on. Um, and uh, we'll be growing some vegetables, showing you some chopping skills, some different things you can do. We're going to try a smoked shallot dip. So uh, we'll do, do all those kinds of things, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So thank you so much for tuning in this week. Um, and we look forward to uh, bickering on camera with, for you guys next week. Thank you.